Greetings, <laughs> here we go. Greetings from Arkansas to those of you in Kansas. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to be moving there to work together with you to build the kingdom of God there in Manhattan and the surrounding regions to this middle part of the United States. In fact, I see us reaching the world from Manhattan, Kansas in our work together. And I've been reading recently, meditating on Acts chapter 11. And the reason for that is because the impact that one person had with the entire church. In fact, it was one person together with one person. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean in just a moment, okay? Acts chapter 11, beginning in verse 19, Luke records this about the church in Antioch of Syria. Meanwhile, the believers who had been scattered during the persecution after Stephen's death traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch of Syria. They proclaimed the word of God but only to the Jews. However, some of the believers who went to Antioch from Cyprus and Cyrene began proclaiming to the Gentiles about the Lord Jesus. And the power of the Lord was with them. And a large number of these Gentiles believed and turned to the Lord. When the church at Jerusalem heard what had happened, I love the translation, it says, when news of this reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, <laughs> this translation says, when the church at Jerusalem heard what had happened, they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived, he saw the evidence of God's blessing and he was filled with joy. And he encouraged the believers to stay true to the Lord. And that's like, to stick to the Lord like adhesive and don't let go, to stay true to the Lord. Barnabas was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and strong in faith, and many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him back to Antioch. Both of them stayed there with the church for a full year, teaching large crowds of people. And it was in Antioch that the believers were first called Christians. One man came to the church in Antioch and worked together with them, encouraging them to stay true to Jesus, to get their eyes fixed on Jesus, to stick to Jesus, and to center their lives on Jesus. And the result of that was the word of God spread incredibly so, so that large numbers of people came to know the Lord. And then another man showed up alongside of Barnabas, and that was Saul. A little later we read that Saul and Barnabas were separated by the Holy Spirit to go out on mission trips. Well, whenever we speed ahead, if you please, over to Colossians, and the last part of the first chapter of Colossians, of this letter, Paul says, so we tell others about Christ. We're telling the world about Christ, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom God has given us. And we want to present them to God perfect. And that means mature, complete in their relationship to Christ. That's why I work and struggle so hard depending on Christ's mighty power that works within me. Look, when I get there, my focus is going to be, number one, getting to know the area. Number two, getting to know you. I want to know each of you personally. I want to grow in relationship with you. But the reason for that is going to be my driving reason, my motivation in life is to help everyone grow in maturity to be like Jesus in every way. And I am looking forward to being there with you. Yeah, pretty soon, like the first part of August. So would you be planning and praying along with me as we prepare to work together? Thank you very much. I am looking forward to seeing you soon.